Hey, what's going on guys? This is MBDC back with another video for you guys here today. And today I'm doing some Final Cut Pro tutorials. So uh, it seems a lot of people liked my Final Cut Pro basics tutorial that I put out. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I guess I should put it up here or something. I'm gonna do a um, series video. So a series of Final Cut Pro tutorials are gonna be quick, easy tutorials. Um, how to export import do just basic things in Final Cut Pro So if you're just starting out or you're thinking of switching or you're coming from Adobe Premiere DaVinci Resolve or anything like that And you're thinking about switching over and you're just getting your hands on Final Cut Pro watch these videos These videos will be immensely helpful. I know videos like this were helpful to me So I'm just trying to give back and show you guys how to get started on Final Cut Pro. So without further ado Let's move over onto the my desk and we'll get going. All right guys, so getting over to the computer here. Um, first thing you wanna do when you start any project in Final Cut Pro. So first thing you want to do before you start any project in Final Cut Pro is obviously re record all your footage, transfer to an external SSD. Highly recommend do not edit from the onboard storage. Get yourself an SSD. So I have my I have my two T Samsung T5 drives here. So say I open up the T5. Okay, you're gonna have no, this one. You wanna have everything in folders, right? So you're gonna have everything foldered up. So anything that you want to do, you're gonna have it foldered up. Okay, that's gonna you're gonna organize all your stuff into one folder about what. You want your video to be about you want to organize it to one folder away when you're importing it's 10 times easier trust me instead of having stuff scattered here scattered there scattered everywhere some stuff in documents downloads and all that kind of stuff you don't want to deal with all that you'd rather just have it in one folder and get it going that way so we're going to open up from cut here so when you open up final cut and you're gonna see this kind of screen, just blank, just nothing, nothing in any of the windows here, nothing to inspect, nothing selected. It says new project here. So if you want to import your footage to Final Cut Pro, first thing you have to do is start a library. So we're gonna go up here to File, New Library. Okay, not new event, a new project, not any of that stuff. New library, and we're gonna name this whatever you want to, whatever you want to name it. So Final Cut Pro 10, import tutorial, okay? You pick where you wanna save it. I save mine in the Movies tab, always in the Movies folder. So it's gonna save, you hit save, right? So you're gonna see some things change here in your screen. So you're gonna see all this. You're not really gonna mess with this side of the library properties. You're not gonna mess with this side of the screen. Nothing over here. You don't wanna mess with your library properties or anything like that, okay? All you have to do is hit this little arrow import media boom so you want to go to my t5 remember t5 i'm gonna go into dc okay and let's say i want to do so you're going to dc i'm gonna go into arrow review click it so i'm in the dc folder click arrow reviews click the exact folder i want to do import selected now before you import select it few things I want to talk about well actually one important thing I want to talk about is files right here so most of this stuff you want to just leave alone right all this stuff here you kind of just want to leave it alone but except for files do not hit copy to library okay you want to leave files in the space otherwise it's gonna double your files up that you already have there's there's no need to do all that there's really no need to do all that kind of stuff to copy the files I don't even know why this is, I guess, if something gets corrupted, that's an option, but leave files in the place, okay? Leave files in place. Make sure that's clicked. Keywords from finder tag from folders, leave that alone. This will be, by default, audio roles. It's just gonna assign the correct audio roles to the certain clip, so I'll just leave that alone. And last thing is transcoding. So if you're running a slower system, an older Mac, an older MacBook, Pro or MacBook Air or something like that. You really shouldn't be editing on like a MacBook Air or anything like that. But if you are, just to get started out, you may want to create a proxy media that just makes a lower res file for you to edit with, and then you can export the full file later. So all that does is just makes the file workable. So if you're shooting 4K or HD or anything like that, but your computer cannot handle all 
the files you throw at it, create a proxy media, or you can create optimized media, you can do both, either one. I do neither, the system I'm editing on can handle all my 4K footage just fine, so I don't need to do either of those. I can just leave those unchecked and keep going. Analyze and fix, I don't touch any of this stuff. I do not analyze and fix the audio problem, the white balance, or any of that stuff. You go in there and you do that yourself when you're editing your, vid your video. Do not let Final Cut make those decisions for you. You go in yourself, you edit your video, do not let Final Cut make those decisions for you. So this is how my setup is. Right here, are all the options. This is exactly how my setup is. So you probably want to leave it, leave it just like this. Uh, again, unless you're using an older system or a not as powerful system, then you want to go in the transcoding box and get that going. But leave it like this, hit import selected. It's gonna process files for import, boom. So you have all your files imported. So all your files imported right here. So you have everything that you put in that folder, in that arrow folder that you see me pull from, import, everything. So I got my audio, I have all my video footage, everything. Pictures, anything I need. So I have all my pictures, everything like that. So everything's ready to go, ready to be imported. Or, or everything's ready to go ready to be worked on ready to edit and it's all here everything's here if it's not here that means it was either a bad media which you need to check on it or it, you didn't put it in the folder and if it's something that's that cannot be imported final cut pro will have a pop-up a little message and will let you know that it cannot be imported so that's been it uh that's how you import media into final cut pro 10 so if you just think about starting out like i said before it looks a little intimidating. You kind of just winging it right now. You don't know what you're doing. Hopefully this video helps. This is just a basic how to import videos or how to import all your media into Final Cut Pro. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of these little just basic quick tutorials. Stay tuned for the next one on how to get your timeline going, what timeline settings you should use, and how to create your timeline. So catch you guys in the next one. NBDC. Peace.